I think that everybody should already know by 2021 that you should be wearing sunscreen. It's gonna snatch your skin and give you just like that nice glow. Okay, that's good enough. So today we have another empties video. I have done a video like this on my channel. I don't know what it is. I really like doing videos like this. I love to see what other people ran through on ran through. Yeah, ran through throughout the year and um, just get like an idea of what I can put on my shopping list. How many times do you go through every single bottle of every single product that you ever purchase? It rarely ever happens. So when it does happen, it is worth a video. So that is what this video is today so without further ado go ahead and thumbs up the video it just tells YouTube that other people might want to see this kind of content and then also go ahead and subscribe to the channel I am currently at 20% of y'all subscribed to me the rest of them are not subscribed so please in 2021 let us just support each other and subscribe the first product I want to talk about is a tree hut lemon blueberry tart scrub completely finished this smelled so so delicious oh shit that's that scared me that's just my bluetooth turned off anyways i completely went through this um smelled so so delicious i love this smell i have gone ahead and purchased other tree hut scrubs and i will probably come back to this one but i wanted to try their other scents I know, I know it sounds weird because I'm sniffing it, but you can still smell it in there. I just love the way this smelled. It just smells so delicious. Obviously, you guys, if you've watched my hygiene haul, you know how much I love Tree Hut um, for scrubs for my body. I use scrubs about once once every two days now. So I am just like super happy that I, I discovered Tree Hut um, at the end year of 2020. And I have I'm just gonna stick with them for the probably for a very, very long time. But for sure, I I will be repurchasing tree hut scrubs for who knows how long but yes loved this it's a thera breath um um fresh breath mouthwash um i have the mild mint and the icy mint these are just now again these are staples that i discovered in 2020 um and these are just staples for me forever y'all if you do not want to have bad breath please go ahead and purchase these i just feel so much more confident in my breath once i gargle my mouth or rinse my mouth with these i just feel like my breath is just like fresh throughout the entire day and i don't have to worry about you know breathing wrong on somebody or you know we don't want no hot breath going into 2021 so these have just been a lifesaver for me i do prefer the icy mint flavor better just because it has that mintiness to it this just tastes like this just tastes like water it doesn't even have like that cooling scent to it but it does do the job um, i'm not gonna repurchase it again i'm just gonna stick with the blue one but yes i love these thera breath mouthwashes obviously more expensive but definitely definitely worth the money <sighs> what is an empties video if i do not talk about coconut oil y'all know my love with coconut oil if you are a woman of dark skin i have said this so many times i do not know how you can live your life without coconut oil i love just slathering my body in coconut oil it started with me using this right after i get out of the shower but now i have switched to other oils um but coconut oil is just a staple to me i use it in my hair i use it to take off my makeup and i've repurchase this again so yes coconut oil for the sorry guys my battery died um i hope that this is not too much of a difference um dr bronner's pure castile soap this was the first soap that i ever bought um like this scent in particular from dr bronner's is the first one i ever bought and i just love it i have oh after, i have repurchased a bigger bottle of this and if you just want to be clean i keep saying it but like trust me when i say like if you just want to be clean like you know just see the dirt come off your body and then you finish showering and you just feel like super clean you don't have to worry about like nothing getting stuck no residues no nothing like this soap has just been a game changer for me and i will forever ever ever purchase this i just love the way this has transformed my entire hygiene routine i just feel so much cleaner i can't even keep I, I keep saying it but like it blows my mind how much cleaner 
I feel and um, I just like I don't know what else to say guys just go and like get yourself some soap they do have bar soap so if you're not a liquid soap kind of person and you like bar soaps there are also bar soaps available love 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 and definitely will keep repurchasing okay the next thing I have is the argan oil um, moisture and shine shampoo I don't really know what to say about this um, I don't necessarily think I will repurchase this again just because I just like to try different shampoos and I think tramp pretty much all shampoos work in the same way most of the time I do co-wash my hair so that just means that I don't have to worry about what kind of shampoo I'm using because I always put conditioner in there and I do co-wash but but um, this one is sulfate free and I really enjoyed it. It did take me a long time to get through it to be honest. And honestly, I think it's just the smell. I didn't enjoy the smell. Yeah, it just smells like... It just smells like shampoo, you know, like nothing like doesn't make you like smell good or anything like that So I probably will not repurchase this one and the next thing I have is the philosophy It, it the, the all the writing has faded y'all all of it has faded. This is the philosophy um, Cleanser it is a big big bottle and this took me literally a year to finish um, I have repurchased this bottle twice now. I used it all of 2018 and I used it all of 2020 and I think that I'm ready to not repurchase this for a while I want to try other cleansers I'm just gonna give this one a rest because the price point is a little bit steep for me and if I can find a cleanser that does the job and doesn't break the bank um, I am gonna go for it but this one is $56 for a bottle it's not too bad but at the same time I just think that I'm ready to try other cleansers maybe my skin has gotten used to this um, and sometimes you just need to like you know surprise your skin just pop out and be like surprise you thought you thought you got me but anyways yes I love philosophy and I'll probably go back to this eventually but for now I won't be repurchasing this um, from my hygiene routine you guys remember this um, body wash the Ole uh, Shea and Peony Blossom body wash I really enjoyed this body wash because it's very very foaming it lathers up really really well um, I will not be repurchasing this for now because as y'all can see I, your girl has been going crazy with the hauls on hygiene I've been just buying a lot of hygiene stuff but this was definitely a great buy love the scent and it foamed up very nicely the Aussie three minute miracle moisture deep conditioner I loved this stuff I bought this specifically because I saw one girl recommend it for wigs and um, at that time I was trying to get this wig back to life I love it I love how smooth it makes even my natural hair and I have repurchased this again it is super cheap and very very fast and the and the smell is just delicious so definitely recommend I have repurchased this one this uh, Bath and Body Works True Blue Spa Shea Cashmere Hand Scrub this has just been in my bathroom for way too long I tried to use it up but I just simply don't it's either that it has expired no it still smells good it, it's just like I don't like how rough this feels I don't want to be that rough on my hands it says it's a hand scrub y'all don't use this on your hands it's too rough like I don't even know what they were thinking but the scrubs in this are rougher than the stuff that's in the tree tea tree uh, sorry tree hot scrub and that's for your body y'all like I just like I'm ready to be done with this it's not even done but I'm throwing this away I didn't like how rough it is that's why it took me so long to use it up and I won't be repurchasing this like this is just too rough no 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 so uh, the Palmer's cocoa butter skin therapy oil loved this oil if you watch my haul again my hygiene haul I will link it up there I have repurchased this oil it is just great because it has vitamin E in it and for those of you who have scars or you have stretch marks this is just a great idea I think a lot of women use this oil when they're pregnant but I definitely don't want to wait until I get pregnant I just want to make sure that my skin stays as elastic and rejuvenated as possible so this oil is just great for that I have repurchased this it smells delicious I love the way it smells and if it's going to help with my scarring that is even better is the ponds Clarent b3 anti-spot for even tone cream this one is targeting my dark spots and of course you guys know how much I go I rave on about how I'm trying to get rid of dark spots it just kind of goes in together 
together with the rest of my routine for targeting my dark marks that is just all I live for is just targeting my dark marks so anyways I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost sunscreen in SPF 50 I have repurchased this again it is a very affordable sunscreen I think that everybody should already know by 2021 that you should be wearing sunscreen this one is great because it is affordable very very great purchase I love this of course you guys know it wouldn't be an empties video for me if I do not talk about the ordinary this is the ordinary uh, cold press virgin marula oil love this oil already repurchased again I switch over from the rosehip seed oil to the marula oil I kind of go back and forth they're very they're both very very good oils very very refreshing like just a good facial oil is just gonna get your skin together boo it's gonna snatch your skin and give you just like that nice glow so this marula oil is highly recommended already repurchased and it's just a great buy so another ordinary product that I have is the organic rosehip seed oil very very great facial oil It's a Jamaican black castor oil I have tried to use other brands of castor oil that is not this Jamaican black castor oil and it just doesn't seem to work as well for my edges I put it on my hairline every night before I go to bed and I think it works wonders if you're trying to grow back your edges so I am a creature of habit and I have been sticking with the Dove dry spray it keeps me dry throughout the day and I love that I don't have to worry about the, the fact that I'm stinking or anything like that this is oh can I remember what this is I can't even see the words anymore lash oh yes yes okay this is the lash sensational mascara from maybelline i enjoyed this mascara again because i wear um lashes now so often i don't necessarily care about like oh what about the length and stuff like that but from what i can remember this does a very very good job to kind of elongate my lashes it is a wetter for wetter formula but i definitely definitely recommend i hope you guys enjoyed this um empties video and um until next time i will talk to you guys make sure you leave me a comment thumbs up the video if you made it this far Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!